Good morning, Libra. This is going to be your video. I am using uh, the Sex Magic Tarot deck, which makes for some very interesting videos. <laughs> Just lots of fun. Um, I was guided to use this deck in the month of October um, as my tarot deck. So with that being said, um, if anyone would like to have a personal reading, um, those are $30 right now. I'll include in the description of the video um, my email address so that you can contact me. All right. I need cards for Libra. Cards for Libra. Being a little stubborn right now. There we go. Cards for Libra. Oh, that's interesting. I've never had that one before. All right. My Vampire Oracle deck. This is actually my favorite deck. I love this deck. And that one is screaming at me. Energy Oracle, Oop. and I'm going to pull one more. Oh, too many. Energy Oracle card for Libra. And we got a couple more. All right, my fairy deck. My fortune telling deck. Fortune Telling Deck. Romance Angels. <clears throat> I need a Romance Angel card for Libra. And that'll do it. The first card that we have is Judgment. Boy, that's interesting. I'm trying to see what all's going on here in this card. Um, so basically, uh, with this Judgment card, um, you are really being asked to um, really refrain right now from giving any type of negative or positive meanings to anything that's happening in your life right now. Um, understand we as co-creators, um, nothing that happens in our lives has any meaning unless we give it meaning. And once we give it meaning, that becomes our truth. Um, and so many times something that we consider to be bad really isn't bad because it has a positive outcome or maybe it's showing you something and that something that it's showing you um, is something that you really need to take a look at or um you know and I've, I've told this story before um you know you wake up one morning to get ready to go to work you have a flat tire and you're like oh my god this is horrible this is like the worst thing that can happen to me. I'm going to be late for work. Um, but what if you knew that um, if you, you know, had gotten on, you know, on the road headed to work at the time that you usually do that you would have been in an accident or, um, you know, something like that. You know, everything that's happening is for our highest good. So anything that comes up right now, you're really being asked to look at it and be like, okay, 
you know, whatever this is, I'm going to accept it. I'm not going to resist it. I'm not going to add a lot of details to it. How many times does something happen? You know, like you're at work or something and, you know, a coworker says something or they do something. And um, I know for myself, I used to <laughs> be like, hmm, wonder what they're up to, you know, that they're probably doing this or they're doing that or, you know, something to that effect. Well, when you do that, guess what? You just created a whole scenario that becomes your truth. So you're really being asked to really be neutral right now, accept anything that's happening, um, not as facts, but um, just tell yourself it is what it is. Okay, we have primal, connecting deep within sacred dance and instinct. And once again, you're being asked to know the difference between um, your intuition and creating stories. Um, I'm not saying that um, your intuition is wrong. I'm just saying that when we read energy, um, it's a fine line between judgment and um, actually reading a person's energy. Um, make sure that you are not judging um, anyone and make sure you are not judging the situation. Um, you're really being asked to really go within. Um, and really check in with any um, type of belief systems that you have right now um, that, you know, you've kind of picked up. I mean, it could be, you know, people you, you've been around. It can be family um, that you've really um, kind of fallen into. I'm not saying small minded, but um, really trying to fit people or situations into a box. Um really kind of expand your consciousness right now and um, really release any need um, for judgment. And we have temperance and temperance is all about balance. Um, and this can be uh, your romantic life. I mean, that came up um, right away. Um, make sure that you are balancing yourself out between you and your romantic interest, your partner, um, this connection that you have to where you are still self-focused, um, that you are not just exclusively focused on this person. Um, make sure that there is a balance of energy. You know, oftentimes we get involved with someone and we just want to just shower them, you know, with our love and, you know, I'm just going to give you all this amazing healing power or energy um, because I just love you so much. <clears throat> I'm not taking away from that. Um, but you're really being asked to pull that energy back and focus that energy on yourself right now um, and allow them to do the same and you can meet each other in the middle. Um, we have this angel of strength. You could be involved with a Leo. Um, that was um, one of the first things that came up for me. Um, but your spiritual guidance right now, your spirit guides want, you to, want me to let you know that you are being um, divinely guided. And even if you cannot see um, things manifesting right now, the way that you want them to. Um, there are things happening behind the scenes, um, but you really needed this time. <clears throat> you really needed this time for this to achieve this inner balance um, because things are just a little off. I'm not saying that you haven't, you know, done all this work, you know, which you really have. It's just a few things that you really need um, to really focus on right now, really need to focus your energy on. Um, and you are going to have the strength to do this because you are being divinely guided. It's almost like they're holding you up. It's almost like um, they're carrying you at times when you feel like um, you can't do it for yourself. <clears throat> but you need to also understand that everything that's happening is happening for a reason um, because you needed to have these experiences. Um, but make sure that you are not in a place of focusing on lack or scarcity in your life because when you focus on those things, you're going to have more of them. That message just came up and that actually wasn't from the card. We have the Seven of Pentacles. 
I'm trying to see what else going on here. Wow. And it looks like they just had some knockout amazing sex and they're tired now and they're resting. Sorry, my neighbors are back and they're noisy. I was trying to get these videos made before they came back. Um, but it's this energy of just really, you know, like I said, having, you know, this amazing time, this amazing sex and really being um, depleted. I mean, this could, you know, be your energy. Maybe you're feeling um, depleted right now. Maybe, you know, you've been having a lot of this and that's good, too. Um, but really um, feeling drained, feeling like your battery is drained, like you need to recharge. And um, the way that you can do this um is to really disconnect right now. Um, really spend more time, um, like I said, disconnecting from your phone. Turn the TV off for a while. Um, take a walk. Um, peace. I mean, peace came up that you really need more peace in your life. Um, maybe you've had a lot of distractions. Um, you've had a lot of people maybe bringing a lot of drama in your life right now. So you're really being asked to kind of pull back, kind of go into this hermit stage for a while um, and disconnect and turn everything off just to recharge. Yes, because we have hostilities and we have envy. Um, and now understand with envy, I have actually released this word from my vocabulary. There's a lot of words I've removed from my vocabulary simply because I don't want to align to it. So I know that if I'm not an envious person, I will not attract envious people just because we attract what we are. And I'm not saying you are an envious person. But if this particular energy is coming up for you, um, and I feel like, you know, it's family. It just, it seems like this is a family energy. Um, make sure also that you are not creating this in your mind. And I hope this doesn't trigger anyone because um, I'm never intend to trigger anyone, but you know, sometimes I do. Um, sometimes our ego, the ego's a nasty thing. Uh, sometimes the ego is necessary, but it can be nasty. Um, sometimes the ego actually wants people to be envious because this is kind of a way of the ego being validated. So make sure you definitely check in with that and make sure that you are not doing anything to align to this because um, we also have hostilities. So, um, but I feel like this whole situation has to play out. This is something that has to play out. And I feel like um, maybe even these hostilities, this animosity has been building for a long time. Um, and like I said, this could be a romantic partner as well. Um, you know, maybe um, you're dealing with this energy here, this insecurity um, around a romantic partner. Um, really having a lot of insecurities coming up, um, worried about what they're doing and who they're doing it with. Um, and, and that can be a very repulsive energy. Um, and it can also drive us crazy too. Um, this doesn't do anything but hurt us, you know, when you're in this energy of, of envy or jealousy. So make sure, and once again, like I said, this could be a situation where you have a romantic partner and you've been experiencing some envy, um, you know, around them feeling insecure, you know, that whole fear of loss thing. Um, and so because you're in that vibration, then you are also attracting people who are envious. And now you have this drama and these hostilities. Um, and like I said, you know, the word peace came up. Um, where, you know, on a soul level, you're really attract, you really um, are desiring um, to have peace. And in order to have peace right now, um, your spirit guides um, are actually there to support you um, and they want you to disconnect for a while. All right, we have the Ten of Pentacles. <clears throat> So basically, um, with this card here, there's a lot of admiration. Um, and this isn't envy. This is admiration. Um, your romantic interest is very, um, they admire you very much. 
Um, and I feel like they're admiring you even, you know, from afar, even when you don't realize it. Um, they're watching you when you're not looking, you know, maybe you're hanging out together and they're looking at you. They're watching you. Uh, maybe they're watching your social media page, um, but they are very, very attracted to you. Um, this is a mutual connection. Um, these feelings are mutual. So if this is something that you were in doubt of, um, don't. Um, we have Elf Struck, Enchanted, Beguiled, and Spelled. So yes, they're, they're very awestruck of you. Um, you know, these two cards, I mean, this is a synchronicity. This is the same energy. They're just in awe. And not only that, but they're in awe of how much you've grown. Um, and they know that there is no one else like you and no one else can make them feel the way that you do. It's perfect. Six of Wands. Now, this is risky behavior. <laughs> um, so this feels like a third energy, a third party energy. Um, and, and this is on your end. And the reason why I say this is that I feel like you have somebody else, somebody else who also, you know, is really awestruck by you, who maybe you're not as interested in um, because you really want this person here. But this person, you know, because this is a different energy. Um, this is someone who maybe you spend time with all the time. Maybe, you know, this is a friend um, that you spend time with who um, has maybe been making advances, letting you know that they're interested in you. Um, and you know what? I mean, it wouldn't be such a bad idea to go ahead and, you know, experience this, taste this, see what this is like. Um, and the reason why I say that is because this will kind of lessen this obsession that you have with this person, um, this person here, because I feel like maybe you're not together with this person right now. This person, um, maybe the two of you are doing your own thing for right now, but they, like I said, they are really watching you. Um, they're very interested in you. They want to be with you, um, but the timing is off just a little bit, just because um, you have these few things that you really need to look at, you really need to work on that and it's the judgment. Um, because when we judge a situation, it can affect our manifestation, um, especially if we give meaning to something. Like for instance, like suppose um, you feel rejected by this person. Um, suppose it was really because they were busy. They were busy working. Um, they didn't feel well. They had family issues. They had something else going on. But, you know, you sat there with your thoughts and you told yourself, you know what? They really don't want me. They're rejecting me. They're not interested. Well, guess what you just created? You just created a whole scenario. And that type of energy, that is a block. That is called a manifestation block. Um, and so it's little subtleties like that. But back to this person. This person is here to teach you a few things. I'm not saying this is a long-term situation, um, but you're really being asked to, like I said, taste of this, it's this forbidden fruit almost. I mean, it's like, this is very risky behavior. Uh, like as far as like, like you see how it's like outdoors and it could get caught. And you know, that's what I mean by risky. Kind of exciting, you know, feeling like a teenager again, um, that type of energy. Um, we have the thief card and I am going to pull a clarifier. This video is going to be a little, a little longer than I usually make them, but lots of things are coming up. Lib Libra, you got a lot of things going on right now. I need a clarifier for this thief card. All right, with this thief card, we have Healer of the Ages, um, which is kind of interesting because we also over here, we also have healing family issues, your love life benefits as you forgive your parents. Um, so basically with this thief card, I feel like this is trust issues. 
Um, this is really having issues trusting people. And I really feel like it has to do um, with childhood. Um, some sort of traumatic event, some sort of something that happened that made you not trust people. Well, distrust can also block your manifestations. I'm not a big person on healing. I believe it's really all about clearing and shifting our perspective, understanding why things had to happen more than actual healing. Um, so, you know, the healing aspect of it doesn't really resonate with me. Healing to me is just looking at it, observing um, and clearing out that pattern. So I feel like you have been stuck in this pattern of distrust. It's got something to do with, you know, your childhood or something that's happened to you in the past. And you really need to take a look at it and see how this is um, blocking your manifestations and how this is, and it's not, you can't ever block a manifestation because you're manifesting, <clears throat> but you're not manifesting what you want um, because of that mindset. So really take a look at that. King of chalices. This energy here, this is really how this, this person here feels about you. This person that's elf struck, this person that's enchanted by you, but you haven't been able to see it. And the reason why you haven't been able to see it is because um, you're looking for certain signs. You're looking for it to manifest physically in a certain way and it hasn't. And the reason why it hasn't is because Oftentimes when we're trying to manifest something, okay, like this is something I want to manifest, we add too many details to it. Okay, you know, I want it to come to me on a plane. I want it to come to me on a train. I want it to be wrapped in a bow. I want it to um, happen in two weeks. I want this to, um, I want this person to, you know, fall down on their knees and profess their love to me. Well, when you do that, Maybe that's not how it's supposed to happen. And since that's not supposed to happen that way, then it doesn't ever happen. Does that make sense? So, and also um, to focus on something that you want, that you do not have, the universe will match that energy and give you the experience of wanting something that you do not have. So you really have to carry on, keep living, keep having these experiences. This person is coming to you to kind of take your mind off things for a while, because how many times have you wanted something, wanted something, wanted something, and no sooner than you, you're just like, you know what, fuck this, I'm just going to go do something else. I'm not even going to worry about that anymore. Does it show up? That is the energy. And um, so you're being asked to do something else for a while. And so you will have this person. This person is going to be a very special soulmate that's going to show up. Um, <clears throat> that's really going to help take your mind off things for a while, make you feel like a teenager. You're going to have fun. You're going to have all kinds of crazy sex. So with that being said, Libra, um, I'm real excited for you about that. Thank you very much for watching. And like I said, if you'd like a personal reading, reach out to me. Thank you.